I have beef with Bloxburg. No, not that kind of beef. This kind of beef. I'm not a huge fan of the Bloxburgers job, and I know that's totally my opinion, and my goal in this video is to change it. The three major issues I have is, one, I can't get my moods up without stopping my job. Two, I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time getting my level up so I make the same amount of money as I do at my current pizza place job. And three, doing this job takes a lot more brain power and attention than just mindlessly running around at the pizza delivery job. When I work, I like to just watch a video and chill out, but when I do the burger job, I feel like I have to pay a lot more attention. So I'm gonna try working at Bloxy Burgers and only Bloxy Burgers for a whole week and see if I can change my opinion. So let's go. So we're starting this challenge with $500,095 and my current level at Bloxburgers is 15 and I am 65% done. As a Bloxburg YouTuber, this honestly isn't that much money and that's why I've been kind of grinding working, but I was thinking of switching it up. The thing I don't like most about this job is having to like memorize the orders and stuff. And also I feel like it's kind of glitchy sometimes. Like I'm trying to look at the order and I literally- Have you always had to hold this button? Is that my problem? I don't know. That's another big issue I've had with this job is it's been a little bit glitchy for me and I know it's a newer job. I would have hoped that most of the bugs have been fixed. I also only have about an hour today that I can work because I have school tomorrow, but tomorrow is my last day of classes for the week so I should be able to put a lot more time in after tomorrow. So I decided that after I finish my shift each day that I'm gonna take some notes about what I thought about the job. And for today's notes, one was that I understand why the job is so detailed. Like I get that some people don't like to work like I do and just kind of zone out and watch a video. And some people actually want an interactive and kind of interesting job. And then another thing is I literally hate the taking orders part of the job. So I think I'm gonna kind of skip over that for the rest of this video because it literally stresses me out. It kind of gives me anxiety when I get it wrong so I, I just I hate that part of the job I feel like it just goes too fast for me to process after school all I want to do is just like not think and this job makes me start to think and another thing I literally hate is that I couldn't get my moods up and I had a stink cloud for like 30 minutes and it bothered me so much So it's day two. I've got a grilled cheese, I'm all ready to work, and my neighborhood is not working. I literally can't click the continue button, but it works in a public server, so I guess we're gonna hop into a public server? Okay, so I gotta get my moods up like any other day. I don't really know what's going on with Bloxburg. It's only my neighborhood that won't let me join, so I don't really know what's going on. Is anyone in the Crustless Bread fan group? Because... I don't like crust. Oh look, he's making a grilled cheese too! Now that my moods are sufficient, let's head off to work. Today, I'm gonna be testing out- I'm pretty sure you can't. That's- at the beginning of the video, I said that you can't get your moods up without working. I'm gonna test that. I know that you can like get your moods up in the bathroom kind of, but I'm gonna try going home even though I don't think that's gonna work. Okay, so day two, we're starting off with 703,000 and my current level at Blocks Burgers is 18, so let's head to work. Okay, so since yesterday I kind of touched on how annoying I find the stink cloud, I'm gonna try and get rid of it in the bathroom for now, and then when it comes back again, I'm gonna try and then go home and do that. I also think that I do make, like, the same amount or more. I think I actually make more from this job, to be honest. I just feel like I'd rather make less money and have a better experience. I don't know. I'm gonna keep this- Oh my gosh, this just went down so fast. Okay, so we're gonna try and head home, and I know it's gonna end the shift, but- Oh wait, hold up. Oh, yep, the shift ended. Tomorrow, you'll see thunderstorms and can expect a high of 52 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 40 degrees. Guys, Alexa, like three days ago, she just started like randomly giving me weather updates for the next day, even though I never asked for it and I don't know why. So on day three, I forgot to record the audio. So I started with 805,000 and my level was 20, almost 21. And I also forgot to do my day two notes. So I have a ton of reflection from day two and day three. On day two, I couldn't see myself doing the job for more than an hour a day just because I, I feel like it was kind of repetitive, but like 
all the jobs are repetitive, but I don't know. I feel like this one's just like extra like repetitive for some reason. I'm gonna keep saying that word over and over. Anyway, I also felt like I was getting a lot of things wrong on day two and it was getting really frustrating. And I also figured that the money problem was kind of solved and kind of that it was not really ever a problem and that I was kind of just telling myself that it was a problem. And for day three, I did actually go back to the cashier job just because I kind of wanted to switch it up and I did end up kind of liking it actually. And I took three notes for that job. One was that I feel like you can't really pause the cashier job unless you like delay in order for a little bit. It kind of feels super rushed, but if you take it like kind of slow, it actually isn't that bad. And that's kind of how I started to like it was to just kind of take it slow. And I also did have a problem when I tried to click the bottom bun button, it like wouldn't click and then the whole order would like go and I'd have to redo it, which was kind of annoying. But overall, I kind of started to like that part of the job. And then I also kind of just had a realization like I can be on both sides i kind of had this like idea in my head that you either had to be a burger worker or a pizza worker and i kind of realized like i could do both if i wanted to like if i wanted to just have a, like a more chill work session then i could do the pizza job and if i want to have a more like interactive work session i could do the burger job and i don't know i kind of just like feel like that almost solved like the problems but like i'm still obviously going to continue the challenge and then i had an idea that instead of ending our shift we could just have like lunch breaks like if our moods are getting really low maybe we get a notification like would you like to take a lunch break or something and go get our moods up or something at home but the shift doesn't end because I just hate when the shift ends but yeah that was my day three reflection So on day four, I did a live stream of me working and I think I worked for around 40 minutes and I actually don't have the footage of what I started with or what level I was on, but I will put it on the screen right now. So yeah, it was actually super fun to talk to you guys and work and hang out. And if you want to watch the live stream, it is still on my channel and I will link it in the description. I did figure out that I really do like working with people because it's just so helpful to have like things done and like ready to go and it's just super convenient. So that was really fun. One eternity later. Okay, so I did actually skip two of the days because I did not feel like working. This is going to be counted as day five. And so I started this day with $1,012. I was on level 24. Really, this day was very uneventful and I think I worked for like five or ten minutes because I literally had like no motivation to work. This pattern of not wanting to work carried out for the rest of the challenge. On day 6, I started with $1,027,396 and I was still on level 24, but I made a little bit of progress. And again, this day was pretty uneventful and I also ended up working for 5 minutes. I actually was on both of these days planning on working for like an hour a day, which was what I was doing before in the challenge. But I literally just, I had like so many other things that I wanted to do besides do this. So I just decided to let myself work for a couple minutes and call it a day. So it's the last day and it is 76 or something. Okay, it went down to 75 and also my window's open and I think there's background noise, but it's 75 degrees outside and the house has been getting to like 80 degrees and I'm dying and I have had like a headache for like the last hour and it's kind of has gone away, but I also think it's from looking at screens for the whole entire day, but I'm just going to get this done because I got to post this video in two days. So let's go. So we started this challenge with $595,000 and we ended this challenge with $1,080,000, which obviously is a pretty big improvement. And I started the challenge on level 15 and we ended the challenge almost to level 25. And I think that I pretty much figured out the problem with this job. Well, technically it was with, it was with me, but the problem was that I felt like I had to pick sides and I realized I could just do whatever I felt like doing. So yeah, I actually think that I might do this job occasionally if I feel like doing it and if I don't then I just won't. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!